Hey Panther, what's going on? That was that's a nice use of the em emote there. Nice one. Anyway, yeah, welcome. Welcome, everyone. This is the uh, finale for Mass Effect 1, by the way. This is the ending before I move on to Mass Effect 2. Which is really exciting, because it's been quite the build-up. It's just epic, so... It all comes down to this, going after Saren and everything. And I had I had to make sure that I, um, that I did the side content before doing this. Just makes sense, because then I won't be able to come back and do it afterwards. Or I would, but then the narrative would be really fucked up, so... You know, you know how it is. With progression and narrative sense and consistency and everything. Alright, without further ado, let's launch. Because last we saw he was on Ilos. We managed to uncover his location. Against the Council's wishes. Well, you know them politics. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. I've got all the faith in Joker. He, of course he can do it. We've got this. Let's r land right on top of that son of a bitch. So who am I taking with me? For if we to submit a squad request, because this is where it gets more important. Uh, I, j I just like, I'd rather let you sort of submit it in case I click too early. And then I just miss it. I was thinking to bring along Tali, at least. And then, yeah. I want to see what you guys want to... I want to see what you guys have to say about the squad request for Ilos. Yeah, it's so cool though. The way we're going to drop right on top of him. Got tense for a bit there. Alright, I'm not seeing squad requests, so I'm just going to pick Tali, and you, you guys sure? <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe Rex? I feel I feel pretty good about bringing Rex along, yeah. Alright, I'm going for it. Tali and Rex, let's do this. And I'm tracking the redeems from yesterday, so that's all being tracked here as well. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. 
There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Do you know what? This has happened before. I think I may have missed something. Like, hold on, that's a landing zone. Did I miss something on the way here? Or did I go the wrong way? Because... <laughs> that elevator is offline. How do I get it open? Or I could try going the other way. I don't know. I had no idea that there was a pathway here. I mean... Yeah, a lot of people have had. I mean, this is this is a known fact, but a lot of people have trouble navigating the um, the levels of Mass Effect One because it's not as I don't know intuitive as two and three were. I guess. I'm just going to quickly check this area just in case I did miss something. If not, then I'm going to try just broadening my uh, pathfinding. These are protein statues, aren't they? Yeah, well, when they're all fucked up, at least. I think they are. It's pretty twisted. Okay, that's not it. That's just, you know... I mean, these things are just to control the enemy um, units, if you have the necessary decryption skill. But that's obviously optional. It's not mission-bound. 
I just I assumed we had to go this way, but I feel like I've yeah, I've missed something. I mean I guess I was too busy sweeping the area to actually <laughs> pay attention to what I actually needed to do. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's staring at me in the face. Like wh when it reveals itself, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like an idiot. <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, it's like typical where you check all the hardest to find places first, and then the most obvious ones are the one you don't check. It's I feel like this is one of those situations. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. This this feels like something. All right, I haven't been down here yet. This is probably if this was a dead end, it would have looked really stupid there. <laughs> but no, no, it's it leads somewhere. That's good. Gosh, I went round in quite a circle there, but we're on our way. We're on our way. Saren's got a fucking head start, so that sucks. <laughs> Alright, can't... This isn't Assassin's Creed, I can't climb up that. <laughs> have to go around this way. Oh shit, this is quite the open area. Okay. Not much cover, more for them, really. Rex, don't get in my line of fire, man, please. What are you doing? You're in my... Li Ugh. I mean, he's a big guy, so I guess he's going to get in my way regardless. Wait, are we being jammed? Okay, now we're not because I've equipped my pistol, which has a combat scanner, which is always really useful. I mean, I've got the best possible gear right now. It's it's making It makes a huge difference, and it feels awesome to use. Let me check the map. Where does this lead? Looks like an optional area. <sighs> yeah, this is probably for later. Nah. Getting ahead of myself there. Oh shit, sappers. Yeah, that's why we were being jammed. Fucking sappers. I hate this place, there's not much cover. Look. I'm gonna be all over us and there's no cover. Come on, I've got you in my sights. There we go. He's up, isn't he? Yeah. Well, one of them shot him down. Your squad base can be so useful, especially if you pick more combat proficient ones. Like, you saw Rex there, he just took it down, no problem. I know, when I when I have Garrus, he's just like... fucking auto-aim and shit. It's, it's crazy. He's got such good accuracy with sniper rifles. He's... because he's a... proficient sniper. Yeah, who you bring with you is not just for show, it's actually, you know... They actually mean something. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that tunnel. Okay, good shout. Is that? Oh, I can take cover here. <laughs> that's a, a little disrespectful, but who cares? All right, I'm gonna ring up my sniper because that's a bit more long range now. And we're being jammed though. Can't see by where. Probably more stalkers and sappers. Oh, oh, those are destroyers. Watch out. This sniper is just ridiculous. It's <laughs> this sniper is just insane. It's just one hit kill, at least to the head. There's one little prick hiding around here. Or, or is there? What? Okay, apparently not. Alright. It's just... Oh, there was a red marker on the map. It was probably their grenade. It was probably a grenade. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. My decryption skill cannot hack into any of these. Probably because I didn't bring Garrus, I brought Rex instead. I don't regret it. I love. I, I mean, Garrus is my favorite, but I don't want to just always bring Garrus to everything. Gotta let Tali and Rex have a go too, right? Gotta balance it out a bit. Come on, Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Nice, We're Panther. Thanks for the redeem. Dragging that now. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. 
Oh, is that Vigil? I remember its name, Vigil. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible! The Cypher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Yeah, it's too fucked up. We have to find a way to clarify it. The conduit. All is lost. We'll clear it up, I mean. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be I'm guessing they're talking about the Reapers. It's like, they've got to be talking about the Reapers. Yeah, you can at least make that much out. It's funny because, here's the thing, Shepard seems to understand the Prothean language, so she can make out some of the words, whereas um, Rex and Tali make out nothing. Because of Shepard interfacing with the um, the beacons, it's allowed her to gain... Yeah, it's been traumatic as fuck, and it's been... It looks extremely painful, and it looks awful, but she seems to have gathered an understanding of the Prothean language, so that's why she can understand it, and they can't. I can't wait until we get to Saren. I'm like really excited to fucking get him. By the way, because there were so many redeems yesterday, I'm, I'm tracking them as I go. So for example, Panther, your Renegade Redeem is going to come in a queue. Because I'm still doing some from yesterday. Uh, it's got a few more Paragon ones, then it seems to lean towards Renegade, so just, just FYI. Alright. Oh, so this... Okay, this makes sense. This was the elevator to get back here. Alright. So now, because we've opened up th the way, we can actually go after Saren, or... There we go. Yeah, obviously you're going to want to <laughs> bring the vehicle along. I mean, I can't imagine going on foot through here. That would just be terrible. <laughs> that would be awful. I thought Sarah would have set some kind of trap around the shores. They must have been too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Alive to the cryogenic freedom. Yeah, I had myself muted there because I didn't want to interrupt the speech, but yeah, basically, I was distracted. I was too busy listening to them and taking it all in. But we were actually getting shot at. <laughs> but at least I clocked it. Better late than never. Because I know there's a lot of dialogue coming up here. That's why I, you know, muted myself. I tend to do that when there's a lot of talking going on, or when I'm really focused. Okay, so this barrier is in our way. What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. It's not a trap. I don't think Saren's behind no. us. Yeah, we have to go in there. You see, it's actually. Oh, look. Yeah. You see, we're we're trapped. But we're actually being led, not trapped. It's a vigil. You'll see what I mean. I mean, vigil will explain everything, pretty much. If this 
were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. 
Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. 
There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world but it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations, perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel's signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Even their last plan failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of being up like them. Conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation.
That was quite the entrance we made. That was pretty badass. I enjoyed that. I had goosebumps as we went up that thing. Now, I don't know who's gonna pay to replace this. It's not gonna be me. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm a spec to do what I want. Oh shit, husks. Yeah, husks, watch out. I never talked to Avina, but I'm I might talk to her now because everything's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, you think? Just look around. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class three fires are burning in sectors two, three, six, and seven. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic That would be the gaff. Let's ask it about Saren. Let's see what she says about Saren. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond. At this okay, time. guys, you have to excuse me, but I just realized something really cool. His surname is Arturius. Who does that sound like? If you've played Souls games, you'll know. Dark Souls. Artorius, the Abyss Walker. That's pretty cool. I mean, it just sort of came to me because I'm a big Souls fan. But that's that's fucking dope. Saren Arteria sounds like Artorius. That's that's awesome. Just just thought I'd draw a little parallel there. That's Come cool. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. I still need to perform renegade actions, as per Panthers um, redeems. There's two lined up, so yeah, feel free to keep that in mind. So basically, I owe you two renegade actions, like relatively big ones. That they get much bigger in Mass Effect 2 and 3 than in Mass Effect 1, so it will be easier to track them that way in that game. But yeah, yeah, he's just slaughtering shit on the Citadel grounds, the Citadel Tower. I mean. The Citadel's closing. It's They're he's closing the, the arms. Yeah, he's closing the arms. This is all part of his plan for Sovereign, isn't it? Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! Yeah. This is where shit gets pretty intense. I mean, fucking hell, look at him! Look at him! He's fucking colossal! Holy shit! Oh, he's terrifying. He's absolutely ter- Jesus. Oh, if I zoom in on it, it gets really- it gets less blurry. That's cool, yeah. Just look at him! He's absolutely terrifying! Fuck. 
Alright, well, our priority is still Saren, though. And the fleet will take care of Sovereign, if they can. I just need to open up the arms again. Oh, shit. They kind of jumped me there, didn't they? Oh, I know you're hiding there. Come on. Can one of you draw this prick out? Go on. Draw him out. That's it, Tali. Well done. You two Rex. Draw him out. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Rex. Bonus star for you. Just fucking killed him like no. <laughs> Alright. They really like their cover, don't they? Christ. They're just not coming out of cover. Oh, man. That's annoying. Okay. Fuck tactics then, if they're just gonna be way too defensive, let's just charge them. Right? Yeah. Quick scope, man. Nice quick scope. Back in the uh back in the old days of 2007. Fucking phase. Huh? Whoa, that's the same armor that um that Rex has that I put on Rex. It's the Warlord armor. It looks dope as hell on the Kurgan. This sniper makes very short work of those barriers. Oh, we're being jammed, so I'm gonna switch to my pistol. Because I'm pretty sure this will work. But basically, look what happens if I equip the pistol. See? The jammer goes off because I equipped it with a combat scanner. That's one of the mods that you can use. I'll just quickly bring it up just for a point of reference. That thing. Combat optics. It's a... Uh, it gives level detection for enemies as such. It, you know, allows you to get past the jamming. It's, it's brilliant. It's great. Shit, I got hit there. Careful. Got some snipers as well. Got him, got him. Warm up. I'm really glad I brought Tally and Rex along. I don't regret that one bit. I mean, Garrus earned a bit of a break, you know, let him stay on the Normandy. Yeah. Well, he's not having a break, obviously, but you know what I meant. We're all at war right now, trying to stop Sovereign from bringing the Reapers all to fuck us up. We need to use these turrets to take down the Geth dropship. I'm gonna see if I can hack another turret. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Hack this hack this bad boy. And there's a third one, if I can get that one up as well. Yeah. That's three turrets. Nice. It'll take that ship down real quick. Down it goes. Hell yeah. We're moving. Yeah, Panther, I, I read you. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. I mean, as long as it's not issues on my end, hopefully not. I need to level up. Oh, 
ship. God, he is just terrifying. Yeah, th thank you for clarifying that. I was a bit worried there for a second. I know you've had issues in the past, but yeah, don't worry. As long as you can... I mean, I just hope it's not too bad for you. Sorry to hear that. Take out these turrets from here. All turrets are down, so it's safer to move up now. That was a good no scope, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, sick. Fucking sick. You know what's cool about these Geth barriers? As much as it's supposed to deter us, it can actually work to our advantage. I can literally use them as cover, so that's cool. How come it's how come there's no enemies here? That's just odd. Okay, I guess that those are all the guys they had, at least in this area. Cool. This is pretty intense, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving this. Alright. Citadel Tower, here we are. Okay, that's a lot of bullet holes on the walls. Here. You can just see all the bullet holes and everything. Can I not take cover against this? No? That sucks. Alright. Okay, yeah, he's pretty well dug in there. Not anymore, he isn't, because his head's just come off. Yep, yours too. Anyone else want the head shot off? Come on. Yep, you clearly do as well. Alright. I think the area is clear now. Now, where the hell's Saren? Where's, where's that fucker? He's right there. Now, because I've passed certain speech checks, it will make this encounter a lot more interesting as it leads up to this. You'll see what I mean.
I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware's not gonna save you. I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Reapers don't use organics, they devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death, there are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Well, I just skipped that boss fight entirely. <laughs> nice. Well, not the whole fight, but most of it. All right, and I I, I, I took the renegade options, and you see, I'll just quickly explain for those of you who might not know how this works. It's because I had my charm, as you can see there, and intimidate um, sections full, and the notice to the to to, to the um, top left and bottom right of her head. You see Renegade and Paragon, they're full up, so because of that it allows you to, like like I've explained before, circumvent situations or have them a lot more interesting in that sense. It can allow you to persuade people or intimidate them, and it's the Paragon and Renegade options, you know, coded by Blue and Red, and it's, it's interesting. It really is. I really enjoy that mechanic. And yeah, as you can see there, I saved an entire fight and convinced him to just take the easy way out because he was too far gone. It was, it was pretty cool. Alright. Alright, on with the show. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. <laughs> What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Oh, this is, <laughs> this is a huge decision. Okay, this one's big. So, save the Council and the pompous pricks, you know, in, in those seats. Or just let them die and just, I don't know, 
Focus on saving humanity, my own race. Oh boy, okay. My own species, should I say. Man, okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna... Hmm. Because the council and I are on pretty bad terms, we didn't get along very well. I'm just gonna look out for humanity. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and let the council die. Because I'm because I'm feeling like a brick today. <laughs> Renegade, man. Let's do it. Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Let the council die to save the galaxy. A tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline! Commander, they closed the channel. Here we go. This is uh, this is the part I was referring make to. Make sure he's dead. Like I said, all right. Yeah, make sure he's dead. We only skipped the uh, first phase. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's, it's it wouldn't be that easy. Doesn't matter how fucking high your even if your reputation bars are maxed out, it's it's never gonna be that easy. Uh huh. <laughs> like that's gonna be enough. He's dead. I'm glad Rex got to got to, you know, rub salt on the wound. Yeah, you see? Alright. Guys, that, that's not Saren, that's Sovereign. Sovereign's taken full control of Saren's body. I mean, Saren's dead, he shot himself. That's not him anymore. No way is that Saren anymore. Yeah, that's Sovereign. That was phase two. Shit, this just gets hairy. Alright. And this station is mine. No, it's mine, you fuck. I'm taking it back. Yeah, this is a little hairy. He's not... He moves around all over the place like a Geth Stalker. See, he's just always on the move. He only stops to charge up a beam or something. And he's got minions, because what boss doesn't have minions? Yeah. <laughs> and in the meantime, they're taking down his, his ship. Yeah. His true form. No, focus fire. Negative. This is our only chance. Yeah, it Take is. That what he said. Down, no matter what the cost. We let the council die to bring him down. Make it worth it, man. Make it count for something. All right. All right. Let's get the minions if we can as well. I might bring up my sniper because it's OP. If I can snipe him, that would be pretty awesome. I'm gonna put Rex there, and Tali can go here. Let's, uh, let's form up. Thanks for standing still for me, Sovereign. I mean, it shouldn't say Saren, it should say Sovereign. Wow, really? It's over already? I got lucky, he didn't move around too much there, and I just lined up some headshots on him, and that's it. It's over. Yeah, and because my sniper's really powerful. And I used the assassination ability, so... Yeah. 
Oh yeah, he's coming down. He's he's on the ropes. He's on the back foot. Yeah, look at him. It's shields are down. We're Now's winning. We're actually winning, guys. Get it with everything we got. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Watch out. Watch that bit there. It's going to come right on me. Yeah, it's headed right to the Go. tower. Holy shit. That was a close call, though. But what a victory lap. That was wicked. So epic. Love it. That's Rex, so they're digging us out of the rubble and the debris. Captain Anderson, we found and Tali, yeah, they're alright. But where's Shepard? <laughs> where's Shepard at, though? Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Oh, they don't think Shepard made it. And it's like, oh shit, Shepard dead. You know. There she is! Yeah, back when this game was new, that was a bit more scary. But but without Shepard, Mass Effect 2 and 3 wouldn't have happened. So, yeah. Nice. That is triumphant as hell. It's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, I, I loved that. It's just we got wicked. Message, Seriously. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still ha! in place. Salty bitch. <laughs> you should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was... Exactly, you should be thanking him. Yeah. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Oh, yeah, about Commander that. Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. <laughs> I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council. One with a human chairman at its head. Ever the opportunist, eh, Udina? This wasn't some plan for the Alliance to seize power. Exactly, I wasn't trying to... Our leadership is going to cause yeah, I, I didn't have the agenda to seize power when I did that. never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage, our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. <laughs> Definitely Anderson. I mean, come on, it's such an easy... I mean, unless you're a... Unless you really like political snakes. Because, <laughs> naturally, you would pick Anderson. Because you know the guy... He's he's like a father figure to you, you know, to us as as the character, and he's been there for you every step of the way. He helped you get set up as the captain, commander, sorry, of the Normandy, 
And what has Udina done for us? He's just always been a thorn in our side. And Anderson deserves it way more than he does. So I guess you know where this is going, right? Yeah. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. Oh yeah, that's a good point about war. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Goddamn right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space. And then it has a nice shot of your shepherd. Whether it was default one or the custom one you've made. This is not the default one, this is the one I made, so... Yeah. And it's the credits. Roll credits. Nice. Oh, that wasn't that a bunch of fun. Seriously. Man, what an experience. What an experience. Casey Hudson, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, you weren't, were you, Panther? No. <laughs> I mean, why would you be? They're very hard to like. They're, they're very hard to like, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. And it makes the choice a bit easier to, um, you know... Hold on, I might just turn on the light. Is it a bit dark on the camera? It might be a little better. Yeah, and... Well, anyway, as I, as I was saying, I'll just finish my train of thought. Um, yeah, they're very hard to like, aren't they? And they always love to push your buttons and and piss you off, so it makes, yeah, like I said, it makes the, the choice easier to make when you have to sacrifice the council or or not, or save save humanity. So, <laughs> and I, I just wanted to go with the darker option there. So, although it wasn't the darkest outcome, it was a very, like, bittersweet one, because I remember when I played as Male Shepherd once, because I was just doing a, a dickhead play, an asshole playthrough, it was like really dark, like really dark. It was a completely different room as well. It was a completely different area where they were debriefing, and it was like it was like um. <laughs> How do I put this? When they were discussing what happens next for humanity and all that, it was very um. What's the word? Tyrannical. Yeah, it was really tyrannical. It's like, oh yeah, you know, like like super super evil villain shit. Like yeah, well will take over as humanity, it's like, it wasn't like that here. It was fairly neutral, you know, it's like, that's pretty good, that's pretty cool, that's what I'm going for. Like, I, I'm I'm not going full Paragon, or not full Paragon, not full Renegade, I'm going like, like, neutral, impulsive. I, I, when I used to play the, this series before, I used to like, think to myself, okay, full Paragon, full Renegade, the first couple of playthroughs, but now, from the third playthrough onwards with the remaster, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna be more impulsive and mix it up a bit. And but it's a little dangerous because if you don't have enough um, reputation points on one side, then you can risk having squad mates die if you're not consistent. So it is a bit of a risk to be impulsive. It's it's a risk, but it does make the playthrough a lot more interesting, especially at least for me, as if you are the one playing and you are more impulsive in that way if you okay what would I do instead of thinking oh what would a paragon do I'll do the paragon option you think how do I make this more morally gray you know it's 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 very interesting that's the kind of thing I'm going for and I made my custom female shepherd for this as well and I was pretty happy with with how she looks and everything so I'm, I mean that, that just yeah Jennifer Hale there she is shout out to her she's my favorite voice actress she's amazing 
But yeah, um, yeah, she did an amazing job with, with Shepard and Rivet in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Like, Jesus, how are they the same person? I don't know how you how that woman does it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a huge tangent <laughs> on a on a event. It's not really a rant, I guess. It's... But um, yeah. So you were saying Mass Effect 2 is going to be even more epic. Well, it will be. It definitely will be. So, I mean, that's definitely the game I look forward to playing the most every time because it's the best one. It's, I'm sorry, it's, it's the best one. I don't care what you think, it's the best one. Like, objectively, Mass Effect 2 is the best one in the series. It's better than 1, it's better than 3. I mean, it's a bit close. For me, it's a bit close between 2 and 3 sometimes because 3 is really grandiose with the Reaper threat and everything and it's really, it really hits that home. But uh, Mass Effect 2 just, I don't know, it just felt so right. And the DLC, my god, the DLCs were also exceptional. They were great in Mass Effect 2 as well, like I said, it's very close between them. But I just feel like Mass Effect 2 was the best one. It's just the loyalty missions, the, the squad attachments was just perfect. It's like, it's one of those games that I would act... Now, I don't think the perfect game exists, but Mass Effect 2 comes damn close. Oh my god, it comes down like 9.7 out of 10 or some shit. Like, zero, if you're using a, a 0 to 10 rating system, or 0 to 100, it would be 97, 98, like 2 or 3 points off. Masterpiece, Mass Effect 2. Oh yeah. And every time I finish Mass Effect 1, I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to start Mass Effect 2. This is incredible, because it's just the best game. Like, even without the series, it's just an excellent game. <laughs> I mean, I would not recommend playing Mass Effect 2 or 3 without one, because it all connects and all your choices carry over and everything in, in the same save. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I guess I have a lot to say about this series, in case you couldn't tell. Um, I don't know, it's one of those series that I'm just really fond of, seriously fond of, like, big time. Um, yeah, huge fan of the series. Anyway, I'm going to let the credits roll, I always like to let the credits roll. You know, credit where it's due, which is what's why it's called credits. And it gives me a chance to to either speak about the game like this or to thank you guys for being here. Because I always appreciate it a lot. Like seriously. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just I'm just checking something real quick. Because if you see me looking in this direction, it means I'm managing the stream manager. It's because I've got it all on my laptop here and my phone for responding to people quickly if needed or if I'm not showing my face or if I'm not commenting that's how I can get with you guys if needed well all redeem requests are done definitely <laughs> Panther you wanted Renegade you got Renegade that was quite a Renegade outcome generally like in terms of telling Sovereign to shoot himself because he's, he's a little bitch and all that because <laughs> I did the Renegade persuasion option and then to let the council die, I think those are considerably big renegade actions. So, yeah, and for what it's worth, I'm glad you picked them. I mean, you pick whatever you guys want. You want me to go Paragon? You pick Paragon. You want me to go Renegade? You go Renegade. Like, seriously. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. I'm making it impulsive for myself and also letting you guys control how it goes, like by redeeming something. Just as an example like that. I just did it now on the chat, you'll see it. But yeah, it's, it's wicked, isn't it? It's so much fun. This series never gets old. It just doesn't. I'm just gonna... Because, Panther, you mentioned having some audio issues on your end. So... And, yeah, you've assured me it's your end, not mine. <laughs> I'm just uh, gonna type something real quick. I'm just typing something to you just in case.
Yeah, and uh, thank you guys for the cheers. It's like, it's awesome. I've been getting cheers lately. It's wicked. Uh, from Panther here and from Siggy as well earlier today. Thank you very much, both of you, for that. Yeah, there's no music right now. <laughs> You're probably seeing it come up now. Anyway, um, I did this for Siggy, and I'm doing this for you as well, Panther. But, um, yeah, I've gifted you a Tier 1 sub, because as a huge thank you. I mean, the idea only recently came across to me, but, like, yeah, as a huge thank you for being such an amazing supporter, I have gifted you a Tier 1 sub, so enjoy that. I mean, you deserve it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just saw it. Yeah, but, like, as a huge thank you for, you know, because she's been, like, an amazing supporter, you know, like, s since day one. I feel like she totally deserves a tier one sub to be gifted, like, straight up. You know, it's, it's just my way of expressing gratitude. Anyway, enjoy that. It's well deserved. Um, yeah, but if you need to take a break, by all means, yeah. In that case, I, I, I'm a little torn. Like, should I start Mass Effect Two now, or because <laughs> I could just go back to the launcher and do it there. But at the same time, it might be nice to start it in a fresh stream just for Mass Effect Two. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. But yeah, you're welcome, Panther. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I gifted one to you and Siggy because, like, yeah, you both deserve it for sure. All right, that's the wow. That's the end of the credits. Usually the credits are like so much longer than that. Wow. Maybe time passed faster because I was talking out my ass. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Whew. Well, what a run. What a run. All right, I'm gonna pause the stream for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sure, Panther. No problem. In that case, yeah, sure. All right, I'm going to be ending the stream here, guys. Yeah, um, I would rather... I've made up my mind, and I'd rather start Mass Effect 2 on its own. Like, yeah, on its own stream, rather than carry it over in the same one. That I think that would just make more sense for me. And if you guys called that as well, then that's good, right? <laughs> anyway... Yeah, uh, like I said, it's been fantastic, you know, it's, and thank you all very much once again for being here, for, you know, for being my viewers and everything. It, I mean, you're all welcome, everyone's welcome, uh, whether you want to stay for a bit or for a while, you know, it's, it's totally up to, if you take time out of your day to come and watch my streams, then that's, that's just really fucking cool of you, so thank you very much for that. And I appreciate all the followers I get, um... My subs, you guys, are just the coolest. I've only got a few, but you know, <laughs> whether it's one or a hundred, doesn't matter. Like, I still appreciate it. You know, it's the numbers aren't everything, is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, it's 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 more than it's about so much more than just numbers. You know, whether whether you're, t whether you're talking about followers or, or subs or viewers or whatever. Like, I mean, I, my main focus is the gameplay, and I I like to bring you guys really good quality games to play and stuff that you'll probably enjoy. Hopefully. I mean, the games I enjoy, <laughs> and if you enjoy them, that's a double positive. But yeah, um, and whether I show my face or not, I'm, I don't always actually feel like doing that, because, <laughs> like, it's quite, you, you guys must understand, it's quite the barrier to, for me to sh actually show my face. It's, it's, it, I had to, like, kind of, like, boost myself with confidence to, to, to do that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'll summarize. I'll, I'll, I'll summarize by saying this that um, it's a great time you know it's, it's a wonderful time we get to I get to play games here we get to I slash we get to play games whether you play them as well you know in your own time and then we can discuss it in the chat and you know and that's why I always I always absolutely love it when everyone talks about when, when you guys are talking about the game amongst yourselves as well or, or if it's relative to the content you know it's 
it's it's it's an awesome time and that's what's most important that's what we're all here for um anyway yeah that's enough out of me all right i'll be back um probably later this evening because i'm on a mass effect hype right now after that ending i might be back on later this evening or tonight if not then tomorrow i, I mean i stream daily anyway so but yeah either later tonight or tomorrow i'll be continuing to mass effect 2 so until then take care of yourselves everyone thank you so much to all of you again and yeah stay awesome you guys stay cool stay hydrated stay awesome most importantly stay gaming all right until the next one fellas lads and lasses i'll see you later cheers <laughs>